2K Sports welcomes you to the following presentation of the NBA. It's the 2K Sports pregame show. Tonight, we'll be watching the Milwaukee Bucks playing against the 76ers in Philadelphia. Taking a look at the 76ers, they've been more than effective thus far in the playoffs, only three losses to this point. And without question, this is a team playing with the utmost confidence. Looking to maintain home court advantage. Jack, it's going to be a challenge. This series is tight. Yeah, a lot of talent on both sides. The swings and momentum reflects that. I'm interested, I'm interested to see who comes out and controls the pace. Well, when you're at home, you have a certain style that you want to play. I look for them to push the action out and try to establish a, li a rhythm. Man. That, would be a, that would be a good blueprint. Yeah. Here's Kevin Harlan as they get ready for the opening tip. Bustling Philadelphia on I-95, a gorgeous night for basketball. Welcome to the city of brotherly love. What a series it's been. We're tied at 2-2, and here comes the all-important Game 5. 2K Sports presents the NBA Playoffs. Alongside Chris Weber and Greg Anthony, I'm Kevin Harlan, the fourth member of our crew. From the sideline, Hall of Famer David Aldridge. DA, it's all yours. Well, Ben Simmons was the top-rated player in high school and in college, but a fractured bone in his foot cost him his first NBA season. He said, a lot of people forgot about me. You have to build yourself up again. And for me, I wanted to prove myself again. Kevin, we all agree he's done just that. He sure has first NBA All-Star ever out of Australia. Thanks, David. Here are the starters for Milwaukee. Matthews and Middleton, the two wings. Giannis is the four with Lopez the five. And it's Bledsoe in at the point guard. And for the 76ers, the talented combo up front, Horford and MB. Then there's Richardson. Then there's Ben Simmons. And it's Thibel in at the two spot. So the Bucks win the tip. Now here's Bledsoe, Middleton outside. The pass to Matthews. With the shot. That one's rebounded by Embiid. The rotation of the D could be better here. It, it'll cost them next time if it's not. Richardson the pass to Simmons. Back to Richardson. Lopez with the block. And you got to appreciate the limp Lopez has. He's effective at using it to stifle shoot. Here's Giannis. First shot, first basket. He's out of the blocks fast. Oh, the defense is aggressive on him. When you're giving up that much height, there's only so much you can do. And Simmons kicks to Horford. Here's Thibel. Just five on the clock. And the three off target. For Milwaukee, they've gone one of three for the field to start this one so far. Down is with it, and it's Richardson picking him up. And stolen by Simmons. Goes up, and Simmons slams it in. Confidence of Simmons. A quick thinker who isn't afraid to go after steals and start the break. Here's Milwaukee now. Giannis kicks to Matthews. Lopez outside. A three-pointer off the mark. Here in the first quarter with about two minutes gone by. Pass to Embiid. Over Lopez. Embiid, no good. And the cold start gets a little colder. Just one for four to start the game. Shots good by Bledsoe. And how about the splendid floor vision from Antetokounmpo? A good decision maker improves his passing each and every year. Locked loose. And now Matthews pushing it up. No one back to stop him. Oh, that's blocked. 
Here's Feibel. Guarded by Bledsoe. Feibel, the pass to Embiid. Orford up top. Launches a three. Kept alive. Richardson, no luck. Man, you don't see this fella blow many layups. Not against D like that. Loads it up for Giannis. Throws down the alley-oop slam. And the definition of teamwork right there on that alley-oop. And Greg, what about the finish? Bringing it down with some Impressive. thunder. Yeah. Outside, Simmons. Excellent D there from Bledsoe. Bucks leading by four. To the middle. Here's Feibel. Oh, and there's the one-handed jam. And that's such good work to make this a one-possession game. Terrific steal to get it all started. Just over three and a half minutes gone here in the first. Here's Matthews. No good on the shot. A bit long that time. And the activity he shows around the rim is why he is such a respected defender. Yeah, you can see why he's established that reputation. Strong understanding of how to defend at the rim. Here's Bledsoe after Ben Simmons' bucket. Middleton left side. It's up a three. And the Bucks miss again. And here's Simmons. He'll bring it up for Philadelphia. Passes it to Richardson. They now take the lead. Can't leave anyone uncovered around Simmons. I mean, he's fantastic at seeing when one of his guys is open. To the Kumbo again, Torfield. And Embiid with the block. Inside, he's all alone. Great teamwork punctuated by a strong finish. Perfect example of how to run the break the right way and get a great look. And Milwaukee calls their first time out of the game. Trying to find some answers offensively. Some bad shot selection as well as some bad luck. I mean, that's not going to help you score points. top scorers during this postseason as shown on the 2K leaderboard. Number one, Giannis Antetokounmpo. Ben Simmons is second. And whether it's been attacking off the bounce or pulling up, both these guys have been lighting it up. Will it go? That's a miss. He's made one and missed one. And the foul on Eric Bledsoe. That's his first foul. Pass to Fiber. Six to shoot. Rebounded by the Bucks. It's a four-point ball game. Middleton outside. Left side out of the combo. And the slam dunk by Antetokounmpo. Man, this guy is a scoring machine. I mean, I know I'm not the only one to describe him that way. Kicks to Simmons. Floats one, and that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. It goes on Chris Middleton. Awesome at cutting inside. The quick feet of Simmons are hard to keep up with on the drive. 
The 76ers shooting their first free throws of the game right now. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And the first one drops. You know, when it's clear, Simmons is a new player. I mean, six foot ten, a guard, can pass the ball, move the ball, great vision. It's a no-brainer that he's been compared to Magic Johnson and LeBron. And Simmons drops them both. Bucks trail by four. Guys are looking for a spark here. Yeah, a cold stretch offensively, for sure. No good from Bledsoe. I love to see the defense exhibit some passion in, in protecting the rim right there. So it's Richardson with the jam. This is what you love to see. Simmons, so superb in sharing the ball and getting this guy's ball. Here's out to the Kubo. The shot, no good. Good work defensively by Horford. The 76ers leading by six. Bible, the basket good off the assist from Simmons. Simmons got his fourth assist in this one. The Bucks working the ball around. Poked away, and Bede with the steal. And here's the fast break. Richardson leading the way. Look at that. And they have owned the paint so far, and the score reflects it. Well, you think defensively that you try to pack in the lane. I mean, but that, and that opens up some opportunities for the shooters. Now, here's Bledsoe. And the pass to Middleton. And the ball goes out of bounds. Last touch by Horford. And the 76ers making a change here. Harris is checked in. Milwaukee also making some changes. Lopez comes in for Brook Lopez. And it's Hill in for Matthews. Now a timeout called by Milwaukee. They're trying to stem the tide here. Yeah, they have to regroup it and revisit their strategy at the defensive end. Scott's checked in for Al Horford. Ilya Sova, he's checked in for the Bucks. Pat Connaughton comes in for Eric Bloodson. Down to five on the shot clock. Out of bounds will be 76ers ball. Mark Miles, he's checked in for Philadelphia. Here's Philadelphia. They're on an 18-6 run. Hill against Simmons. Hit the hook shot. Doesn't go that time. Now the Bucks take it the other way. And already they staked out a noticeable advantage in terms of aggression and controlling the backboard. Like how hard Lopez goes. He's a hustler and likes getting chances to finish with power. And Philadelphia has possession after the basket by Milwaukee. High arcing shot. And Simmons with the lay-in. Simmons got eight. They're getting on a roll inside. Their last three field goals have come from the paint. Here's Connaughton. And the rejection by Embiid. And, and the wingspan of Embiid. I mean, very effective at using his limp to turn shots back. And you don't ever want to get into the habit of letting the offense get to the rim. about shooting their initial free throws of the game right here.
that's good for Lopez. Well, at this stage of his career, Lopez knows who he is. He's a hustler on both ends whose energy simply infectious. Kyle O'Quinn is checked in for Philadelphia. Lopez hits them both. And Simmons has got the ball here for Philadelphia. Eight-point game. Come into this one after winning on Tuesday. Yeah, and that one, they just locked it down defensively. Challenge shots and really protected the rest. They certainly made their presence felt because they were active and rejected a number of shots. And the foul on Kyle O'Quinn. That's his first foul. The Bucks making a switch here. Browns checked in. to Hill. Brown outside. Six on the shot clock. Here's Connaughton. He's been quiet so far. Still no points in the game. Oh, such a smart defensive player. He knows how to use his reach to alter shots. Philadelphia with the ball. They're leading by eight. Corkmans passes it to Simmons. Back to Corkmans. A shot. A rebound by the Bucks. Hill with it. Pass to Connaughton. Just five to shoot. Knocked away. Tries to save it, and so Milwaukee again turning it over. And while we have a chance, let's now take a look at the NBA's season assist leaders. Ben Simmons third. And it seems like he's taking it on his shoulders to get every one of his teammates involved in the offense here in the postseason. What a passing display. Now here is Harris. And there's the pass to Scott. Shoots over Brown. Hits the jump hook. And the 76ers lead by 10. Man, have they been effective at getting the ball inside. Hill and Simmons. Hill wants that. The feed to Lopez. And the length Lopez possesses is tough to combat. I mean, he uses his body well to draw contact on the way up. These are his third and fourth free throw attempts of the game. He's off on the second. Here's Philadelphia. They're on a 20 to 6 run. Harris passes to Simmons. Harris kicks to Quirk Moms. Back to Harris. That one's in his first bucket of the game. He's one for two. And they are attacking the rim and getting great results. Hill dishes to Lopez. There's a minute 45 left to play in the first quarter. Elias well, Sova passes to Hill. And he converts the layup. Always looking for the high percentage bucket. 
Bill got that one right to the middle. The 76ers leading by 10. Pass to Korkmaz. Harris outside. This one for three. And the rebound goes to Lopez. Now when Deep forgets about him on the perimeter, they're playing with fire. Lucky they don't get burned here. For three, Hill. And it's blocked by Scott. Here's Simmons. Makes it off the glass. Simmons got 10 points. Oh, they own the interior right now. 10 straight points coming from inside. They've been looking out of sync offensively. Yeah, the, their offense has ground to a standstill. Now here is Hill. And it's blocked by O'Quinn. They recover it. Lopez with the bucket. There's 42 seconds left to play in the first. And it's Simmons penetrating. And he banks in the layup. 12 points for him. Well, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. They keep getting it in the paint and continue to score consistently. Here's Connaughton. Still getting warmed up offensively. No scoring yet from him. Lopez inside, working on O'Quinn. And it's Brown missing. Yeah, they got that one, but early on, it's it's really been a struggle for them to secure that defensive backboard. Excellent all-around performance so far, hence the big lead. Yeah, Greg, they've come out of the gate strong at both ends of the floor, just, just in total control so far. So as we end the first quarter, already a double-digit ball game. 76ers ahead. They lead by 12. The second quarter coming up right after this break, so don't go anywhere. Al Horford was born in the Dominican Republic, and he talked about why he gravitated towards basketball instead of baseball. Coming from the place where you know baseball is what's driven to us every time. I mean, I started playing baseball. I didn't play basketball. I started playing baseball. And, you know, just watching my dad play basketball, I just fell in love with the game. But people were still telling me, they're like, nobody makes it out of here, usually out of basketball. I mean, your dad was a very rare case. And, uh, you know, I just believed in it. Yeah, wanted to follow in his father's footsteps. And, and what a career. A college championship supporter, an all-star in the NBA. I think he made the right choice. So glad to have you with us here as we bring you more action from Portsmouth at Game 5. And the 76ers have been rolling along, haven't they? You, you got to credit their defense. Communicating, rotating, making plays on the ball. No question. It's been stifling thus far, preventing that offense from establishing any kind of rhythm. And a moment now to reset the lineups, courtesy of Gatorade, all fueled up for the second quarter of basketball. And Milwaukee looking at who they've got. Elias Silva out there with Robin Lopez. Then it's George Hill. Then there's Brown. And it's Connaughton in at the two-guard spot. Did you see the no-look pass by Harris right there? I mean, he's a wing that knows how to move the ball. Connaughton passes to Hill. With some arc. And Simmons with the rebound. Simmons got five rebounds tonight. He has shot them in the foot with his inability to make shots. No love that time. With that miss, he is now six for nine. Knocks it loose. O'Quinn with it. Picked up by Brown. Here's Korkmaz. And it's denied. We'd love to see more of this from Illisova. I mean, he has the reach to swat away shots. Connington kicks to Hill. Feeds it to Lopez. Not going to go that time. And so it's Harris who will bring it up for Philadelphia. 16-point lead, the largest margin in the game. you got to love his hustle, leaving the defense no time to react. And how about then not settling? I mean, instead of being lazy with the shot selection, they go right to the rim. Here's Connaughton. 76ers getting the bucket. deciding where to go with it. Back to Lopez. And he can't stop this drought. Another miss. And even three-on-three three break. 
Simmons passes to Bolden. Can't cash in from close range. And that is a textbook example of how to defend your rim. Well, that's why he's out there right now. In situations like this, he stands tall to prevent points. Here's Connaughton. Nothing yet on the scoreboard for him. I mean, he struggles with his finishes sometimes. I mean, it's kept him from being an elite player. Here's Simmons. Oh, and the jam by Ben Simmons. How can you not go Simmons? I mean, some of the dunks he pulls off are insane. They need a good offensive possession. Yeah, they've gone a long time without a bucket. Now a timeout called by Milwaukee. And the lack of rim protection, top of the list. How question. They're giving up too many high percentage looks, a trend that they'd like to reverse. Swap here for Milwaukee. And now let's give you a look at the players who have stood out at taking high percentage shots in the playoffs. Fifth is Giannis Antetokounmpo. And guys, that shooting percentage of his has been spectacular since the start of the playoffs. He has been completely locked in. And Matthews kicks to Bledsoe. It's Antetokounmpo on the wing. Five to shoot. To stop the drought. Offensive rebound. And a good offensive board. And he gets the bucket. Giannis has got eight. And guys, they continue to put a lot of pressure on the interior defenders with their work down low. Pass to Embiid for three. And Chris Middleton pulls it down. Bucks trail by 18. It's Antetokounmpo on the wing. Simmons with the defensive effort. For Philadelphia, they've gone four of eight so far here in the second quarter. Bolden passes to Thibault. Now here's MB. Lopez with the steal. Giannis right side. And Matthews now, top of the key. Bucks passing it around. Lock at six. Middleton inside the three-point line. Misses, and he wants that one back. He makes a lot more of those than he misses. Not sure what threw him off right there. Back to Simmons. That's in for his eighth bucket tonight. A hot eight for 11 shooting so far. And they're beginning to just flat out fall apart defensively right now, especially on the interior. Outside, out of the Kumbo. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. That one on MB. You know, we always talk about what a rare talent Giannis is, and it's true uh, unrivaled athleticism and versatility. This is his first free throw of the game. And the first one at the line is good. Some changes for Philadelphia. Horford comes in for Jonah Bolden, and Josh Richardson subbed in for Ben Simmons. Right. 
And both free throws good for Giannis. Here's Thibel. He's got six. He kicks to Horford. Here's Thibel. He's covered by Matthews. Thibel, the pass to Harris. Off target with his three. And you could tell he thought he had a little more space, but the defender was right there. Oh, man, did you see him close that gap? What a great job. He made the shooter feel uncomfortable. Now here's Bledsoe. After the Kumbo finds Matthews. Good, and the assist goes to Giannis. Matthews has got his first points of the game. Oh, that's a well-deserved assist. Not every player has the vision to make that feed. Embiid, the pass to Richardson. Back to Embiid. Lopez with the block. A shot by out of the Kumbo. Nobody around. He clangs that one off the back iron, and down it falls. And he's been fantastic, but he can't do it all by himself. Some of the other guys need to lighten the load and step up. Horford dishes to Richardson. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. For Philadelphia, they have had two chances at the line already, making them both. Taking two shots. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And he makes the first. and drops them both. Oh, you can get spoiled watching him at the line. I mean, you just expect him to make every one every time. There's the lob at the combo. That shot, no good. The 76ers leading by 16. Over to the wing. Pass to Horford. Here's Thibel. Six points for him. Four on the shot clock. Horford trying to free himself up. Bible can't get it to go. And so it's Matthews with it, bringing it up now for the Bucks. Middleton can't get it to go. Philadelphia's gone 0-2 from deep here in the second. Here's the pass to Thibel. Back to Harris. And he drops it in from the low post. Harris has got his third bucket of the night. I like when Harris attacks in the paint. He's got the size and length to make that work. No good from Bledsoe. For Philadelphia, they've gone 6 of 13 so far from the field here in the second quarter. And here's Richardson. Eight points for him. A nice shot by Harris. His individual effort has been outstanding tonight, and it's helped him grab the lead. Bucks trail by 21. Guys, they're looking for a way to score here. Yeah, they've had a tough time taking the lid off. Opens against Embiid. Back to Bledsoe. They need this. Rebound by the 76ers. Embiid's got eight rebounds in this game. Harris inside, defended by Middleton. Harris's shot is off. Yeah, and the activity he shows around the rim it, is why he is such a respected defender. Yeah, you can see why he's established that reputation. Strong understanding of how to defend at the rim. Here's Richardson following the basket by Young. Stolen by Bloodsoe. And up the court come the Bucks on the break. And Bloodsoe with the stuff. Every team looking to get easy ones in transition. Uh, Greg, that's about as high percentage a look as you're going to get running the floor beautifully. Here's Thibel. He has six. 
Here's Embiid, uses the glass to finish the lane. And the 76ers lead by 19. He seems to have a sense for where misses are going. Embiid, so fantastic at getting ideal positioning on the glass. Now here's Middleton. He's still scoreless so far in this one. That's the kind of D that you're not going to find success with, guys. They've got to get a hand in the face. Richardson outside. This is to Horford. Outside Harris. Five on the clock. No good on that one. Great D that time for Middleton. Loads it up for Giannis. No hesitation at all on the alley-oop. Saw his teammate with a path to the hoop. And bang! Lobbed it right up there for him to finish. And he was ready for it when he elevated and made the catch. Or for the pass to Thibault. Unloads from nine. Good D by Lopez. Tells you a little something about their team. They've been able to pull in front despite his troubles tonight. Blood throw outside. We've got 155 left in the first half of basketball. No good. Shot missing. No doubt he's struggling right now from the field. Let's see if he can get it going this quarter. And it's sent back by Lopez. And now here comes Anadokounmpo leading the break. And Matthews gets it to go. Uh, one of the few guys in the league who make a lead pass like that. Oh, just a fantastic look. Thibault, the pass to Embiid. Here's Thibault. He's covered by Matthews. 14 feet away, and that one's good. Thibault. Thibault's got eight. Hit works well there. Not much resistance from the D. But it's a lazy effort. Let's just be honest. Hoping the shooter misses. That doesn't constitute defense. Now, here's Bledsoe. Here's Lopez. Rebound by the 76ers. Embiid's got the glass covered here tonight. 11 boards for him. Richardson the pass to Thibel. Fourteen feet away, again Philadelphia. 43 seconds left here in the second. Bucks trail by 16. Bledsoe looking around. Looking to get it going. Oh, the officials are all over that one. And he's got his first free throw of the game. The free throw drops for Eric Bledsoe. They've hit every one of their free throws here in the second quarter. Very important when you're trailing. And some changes here for the Bucks. Robin Lopez is checked in for Lopez. Ilyasova comes in for Chris Middleton. And it's Hill in for Wesley Matthews. And Eric Bledsoe drops them both. Here's Simmons. He's got 18. There's 18 seconds left in the first half. Shot clock at six. It's Richardson on the wing. Off the mark there with the three-point shot. And so it's the Philadelphia 76ers sitting with a comfortable lead up by 14. They have made it very tough to get a shot off against them. Their defense has been stifling. We'll get right back to the action when we return. And now, the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Welcome back, everybody. SRO 
Standing room only. Ooh, nice. I'm your host, Ernie Johnson. Got Shaq here, got Kenny the Jet. Taking a look at the 76ers. In the first half of this critical game five, they've played with intensity and energy, and they're now poised to grab that all-important three games to two lead in this series. And from what we saw so far from the Sixers, Kenny, what's your takeaway? With everything Ben Simmons gives you, the scoring is great. But in the first half, he was aggressive with his offense, getting his shots to go down. A welcome sight for this team. And now, Shaq, let's get your opinion on Milwaukee. Their field goal percentage reminds me of Kenny's breath. Brutal. Not reading the defense, not getting enough quality looks. They need to make major changes because the system they ran in the first half was not working. And it's just about time now for the third quarter to get underway. And here we go. Heading back to the action here in the Eastern Conference Final. You look at Ben Simmons in this game. He's been everywhere. And the way that he has helped out with the ball movement has been a difference maker early on. Yeah, Greg, and that's somewhat of a surprise, I mean, but he's been really patient and unselfish. And after a very lopsided first half, we'll see if things play out a little more evenly here in the second. The talented combo up front, Horford and MB. Then it's Josh Richardson. Then there's Ben Simmons. And it's Thibel in at the shooting guard position. That's the group in the game for the 76ers. And when you foul Simmons, you really got to foul. You don't want to just mess around. He powers through. This is his second trip to the line in this one. by 17. Giannis inside. Richardson cover. Pass to Simmons. Passes to Horford. Great D that time for Middleton. Well, the Bucks shooting just 34% from the floor. Richardson against Giannis. And Matthews kicks to Giannis. And the rejection by Embiid. Richardson against Giannis. And the rejection by Giannis. Embiid, no good. It's still early, but a one for four starts in the half, that's a bad sign if you ask me. If they've got a can't miss play, Now's the time to break the glass and pull it out. Now here's Budzo. He's got six. Pass to Matthews. And stolen by Horford. And now Philadelphia on the break. Horford's got the ball. Feeds to Simmons. Now the pass to Thibault. Stolen by Middleton. And up the court come the Bucks on the break. Here's Budzo. And it's sent back by Horford. Oh, you can't be careless around Horford. Throw up a weak shot around him. He'll send it back. They get a hand on it. It's Richardson on the wing. Lopez covering and a missed late. Ooh, and this is turning into a slow start here in the second half. Seems like they left that offense in the locker room. Matthews passes to Bledsoe. To the paint. And there's Lopez. That's good on the assist by Bledsoe. Outstanding focus from the big man. Lopez, he's accepting the punishment for muscling through. A little under two and a half minutes gone by here in the third. Down low. And it's the Bucks on the break. Giannis is running. And they need those 
kind of plays right now. Smart defense that generates some oak. The 76ers leading by 13, and Simmons kicks to Horford. Bledsoe against Simmons. And that one's in. He's only missed 3 of 13. Such an impressive athlete. The way Simmons moves on the drive is so natural and under control. Here's Yachts. In for another field goal. A sublime 9 of 14 on the night. I love the spirit he's shown tonight, particularly on the offensive end. And, and he's gotten to his spots and capitalized. He just needs a little more help from his teammates. Now here's Simmons. He's got 23. Richardson outside. And that's out of bounds. Philadelphia will retain possession. Let's take a look at the players who have pulled down the most rebounds during this postseason. Third is Giannis Antetokounmpo and, of course, Joel Embiid. Those two have been really aggressive in the paint so far this postseason. They provided the kind of rebounding you need in this atmosphere. A little under two and a half minutes off the clock now here in the third. Simmons again, out of the Kumbo. Just four to shoot. He gets it in there. Horford's got his first bucket in this one. Now look, you can't forget about Horford. I mean, especially from the mid-range area where he gets done. Blood show outside. Back to Matthews. Right at the free throw line. And Joel Embiid pulls it down. Embiid's got 13 rebounds in the game. See that. Oh, fellas, that was vicious. Two-hand monster slam. Guys, I don't think there was anyone who could have stopped him on that one. Now here's Middleton. What's the right side? And it's blocked by Simmons. Here's Feibel. Pass to Simmons. Over Bledsoe. A shot. No good. And Milwaukee will come the other way. They've been struggling here on offense. Yeah, a bit of a dry spell for sure. And stolen by Simmons. And now here comes Simmons leading the break. Oh, the power on that fruit. Better stay with Simmons, especially on the break. He's dangerous. He, he leaks out, and he's going to cash in. And this is his third trip to the line tonight. A different look for Milwaukee. Brown, he's checked in for Chris Middleton. And it's Pat Connington in for Wesley Matthews. One misses for Simmons. Bucks trail by 19. There's the lob into the combo. Hammers the alley oop through. Oh, such a beautiful pass to set that one up. Yeah, the pass might have been pretty, but the finish was angry. <laughs> <laughs> now here's MB. Passes it to Thibel. The putback, it's good on the putback. And the 76ers lead by 19. Reading where misses are going ahead of time, I bet that's one of the B's gifts. Ball's not loose. Connaughton passes to Lopez. Now the dish to Bloodsoe. Trying to break that ice cold streak. And this helps build chemistry. Lopez looking to share the ball wherever he can. The 76ers leading by 17. For the pass to Thibel. Tries a three. But they'll get another chance. Richardson outside. Tries again. And it's blocked by Brown. And he's able to get it back. From deep three-point range. But they recover it. Here's Horford. No good, not a friendly rim at all this trip down. 
to the inside. And to Takumbo. Beautiful dish, and the layup goes down. Ande Takumbo has got eight here in the quarter. And they've had assists now in their last three baskets. Brown against Richardson. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. For Philadelphia, they have shot a good percentage from the free throw line so far. They've made five out of six. The first one falls. A different look for Milwaukee. Robin Lopez is checked in for Lopez. Ilyasova comes in for Giannis Antetokounmpo. And George Hills subbed in for Eric Bledsoe. And Richardson drops them both. Bucks trail by 17. Hill kicks to Lopez. Now Elias over. He's been patient so far. Nothing on the scoreboard yet. And good that time. And a sharp pass to set up that high percentage shot in close. On the wing, Harris. The kick out to Scott. Three-pointer. The rebound by the Bucks. Now here's Brown. Lopez outside. Brown dishes to Lopez. Pass to Hill. Shot clock at five. And Hill throws it down. Attacking with attitude. Hill makes the biggest impact in being aggressive. Simmons looking around. Harris against Brown. Let's go. Harris's shot is good. Harris has got 11 points. And the lack of effort to fight over the screen there makes that an easy shot. You see this all too often. You have to be willing to play. Now here's Brown. Back to Connaughton. Kick out to Brown. Here's Elias Sova. That one doesn't go. And not allowing the shooter even an inch of breathing room on that one. Yeah, Greg, that's his great defense. Forcing his man into a difficult attempt. And with the lead, I like the strategy here. Continue to get the ball to guys who can do something with it. Oh, I do too, Greg. You have to go to your best scores. I mean, it's a smart strategy. And so far, it's paying off in this game. You know what a kind of competitor he is? I know he's upset with his performance and with the score. And, and great hustle to turn that block shot into a fast break opportunity. Big time play on both ends. Our timeout called by Milwaukee. And they just can't seem to get going offensively. Yeah, they might be pressing a little. I mean, forcing some things. This is a good opportunity to calm everyone down. The 76ers making a change here. Holden's checked in. Here's Hill. 
No good. They had a chance to end the run there. Oh, you expect him to make those. They've got to do more to get a hand in his face next time. Well-rounded effort, and, and they show no signs of letting up. Yeah, and it hasn't just been the offensive output. They're putting in the work at the defensive as well. Here's Connaughton. A floater, and O'Quinn sends it back. Ilyasova against Harris. Simmons in shot. And it's out of bounds. They say it was last touched by Hill. Antetokounmpo's checked in for the Bucks. inside, working on Ilya Sova, and foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. No question, he got bumped on that shot. The 76ers have been good at the free throw line, this one, 7 of 8. Good from Scott. And that's good as he hits both of his shots. Here's Hill. some tough offensive sets. They want to turn it around. Yeah, right now, you just need a bucket to get some momentum. Lopez finds Giannis. And again, unable to change momentum here. It's a plus five advantage for them in rebounding after that one. 153 left in the third quarter. And they double up Simmons. Six to shoot. Here's O'Quinn. And the rebound goes to Lopez. Lopez has got rebound number seven for him tonight. Here's Young. And onto Takumbo slams it in. And with a monster finish, he stops an 11-0 run by the Sixers. Simmons against Hill. And Simmons slams it in. Once he turns on the Jets, there's no stopping him. I love seeing him play with this much confidence. A pass to Lopez. He dishes it to Giannis. It's deflected. Outside, Simmons. And Simmons slams it in. I mean, that's too easy for Simmons. I mean, the closer he gets to the bucket, the more dangerous he is. Giannis outside. And the slam dunk by Hunter Tacumbo. I just think what the score would be if it weren't for him. I mean, he's been amazing. But a one-man show isn't going to get you a win in the league. On the night, he's gone two for two at the stripe. Mark Myers, he's checked in for Mike Scott. And Milwaukee also making a switch. Matthews is checked in. Mind the lanes. Mind the lanes. One shot. Free throw, no good for out of the Kumbo. And here's Simmons. He'll bring it up for the Philadelphia 76ers. Bolden, good. When you allow good scores to get uncontested shots at the rim, no wonder you're losing. Yeah, yeah. Horrible effort. It appears they may be on the brink of giving up. So it's the Bucks now after the Sixers pick up two. Stolen. Just two seconds between shot clock and game clock. Well, if you don't take care of the ball, fellas, that's what can happen. Absolutely, Greg. That makes the turnover even more painful. Yeah, going defense to offense in an instant. Every team now calibrated to do that. Here's Giannis after the Sixers pick up two. Five on the clock. 
Fires from deep. No good there. And at the end of the third quarter, a huge lead in this one may already have been decided. 76ers ahead, running away with it. Live from Philadelphia, you're watching 2K Sports. Now let's take a look at our assist of the game presented by State Farm. And how about the floor generalship right here? I mean, showing us why they're always in good hands when he's the man in charge. Great vision. He's a gifted passer. Has his finger on the pulse of this offense. And there may not be a lot of drama down the stretch as we head into the fourth quarter, but stranger things have happened. And Milwaukee, looking at who they've got. We've got George Hill. Robin Lopez out there with Wilson. And it's Trent in at the three. Drills it from outside. Philadelphia shooting it up around 51%. They're getting good looks. Pass to Bolden. The 76ers tack on two more. And it's Milwaukee's ball. DiVincenzo passes to Wilson. Nice ball movement by Milwaukee. Here's DiVincenzo. And it's by Quinn. Just a solid performance on the interior. The rebounding has been off the chart. A little over a minute of the fourth quarter gone right now. Shot left block. Again, Philadelphia. Yeah, these defenders just look a bit overmatched, especially inside. Hill passes to DiVincenzo. And there's a whistle. That goes on Neto. That's his first foul. That's his first foul. And Milwaukee has possession. And since halftime, he just doesn't have a clue when it comes to shooting. Pass to Korkmaz. To the paint. He's looking for O'Quinn and finds him. And the basket is good. O'Quinn's got his first two points of the night. And I like that they're not settling. Getting the ball on the interior. Eight of their last ten coming that way. Outside Hill. Pass to Trent. Milwaukee. No good that time either. For Philadelphia, they've gotten all three of their shots to drop here in the fourth quarter. They came out of the break on a roll. The pass to Korkmaz. Back to Neto. Pocket six. A floater. And that one, good. Neto's got his first two points. And not hard to see why they are giving up points on this run. Just too many good looks from in close. Now here is Hill. He's tightly guarded. That one good for two. Given the size disadvantage, you have to have a lot of confidence to take that shot. No question, GA. I mean, it takes skill and a certain level of fearlessness. Here's Neto. At the teardrop, and O'Quinn slams it in. And this offense is in a perfect rhythm, and you can see how they're finishing their plays. Yeah, right now it feels like they can't miss, but we'll see how long they can make this last. Now here's Wilson. Pass to Trent. Here's DiVincenzo. Holden pulls it in. And they've got a big lead, not just on the scoreboard, but really in the rebounding numbers as well. 
Ennis kicks to Neto. Ennis with the ball. And the rebound goes to Lopez. The Bucs have gone just 33% from the field in the fourth quarter so far. They are two of six. Here's Trent. Stolen away. Nice job to interrupt the alley-oop attempt there. It's two on one. Here's Corkmans. Here's O'Quinn. Releases from the wing and drills it. And a lot of teams avoid the mid-range jumper, but they seem to be using it well. Here's DiVincenzo. He can't get that one. And he did everything he could to make that shot as difficult as possible. Excellent. Avoiding fouling and got in the perfect position to alter the shot. Pretty much all of their buckets coming from inside the paint now. Lopez, he's checked in for Milwaukee. Sterling Brown comes in for Hill. And that one falls for O'Quinn. And for Milwaukee, their shoot in the fourth quarter, not pretty, down around 29%. Here's DiVincenzo. Here's Lopez. And again, the Bucks miss. Here's Korkmaz. Off with the layup. You know what? They're winning, though, despite the fact that he has just been really off. Here's DiVincenzo. To halt the run. Kirk Mize grabs the miss. It's been a really tough quarter for him. I mean, he cannot get his shots to drop. Yep, that one goes in there. And, and those are the kinds of plays that are just killing them right now. Milwaukee has gone one or two from three-point range here in the fourth. DiVincenzo passes to Brown. Here's Trent. It's tipped. It's stolen by Ennis. Here's Neto. Kicks it to Ennis. Fires the three. Another three for Philadelphia. How many times have we seen a possession like that from them today? Ending with a basket coming off a pretty pass. Here's Trent. Passes to Brock. Nice ball movement by Milwaukee. Here's Trent. Down to five on the shot clock. And it's out of bounds. The Bucks able to retain possession here. Mike Scott's checked in for the 76ers. Mike Scott. Puts it up off the inbound. And it's off the back rim. No good. Boy, you can just see the frustration growing on their faces. Nothing going their way. It's something that happens to every team. You just have to ride it out, play your hardest, and live with the results. Here's Neto. You know what? You've got to always be in control of your emotions. Now here's Ennis. He's covered by Brown. Just five on the clock. Pulls up on the wing. Here's Bolden. Boom! He chains it straight down. And able to pad his stats a little bit there on that play. The board and the bucket. And you know, Greg, that'll put him in the good graces of that coaching <laughs> staff, too. My goodness. Steven Shenzo gets the bucket. And that's a perfect setup. Solid screen. Defender can't avoid it. Opens up a clear path to the bucket. Here's Neto. That's New Ennis. And it's Brooke Lopez with the foul. That's his third foul of the game. And the 76ers making a change here. Smith has checked in. Smith! Now 
the pass to Ennis. Just five to shoot. Smith outside. Let's it go from deep. Sinks the three-pointer. He can be sneaky good from deep sometimes. I mean, when he gets clean looks, he's got the ability to do some damage out there. Now, here's Lopez. Pass to Brown. Here's the three. It's rebounded by Neto. They've shown some strength in the paint today. Their work on the boards has been impressive. Smith feeling it out a bit. Here's Neto. He kicks to Ennis. From deep. It's not going to go for him. The Bucks go the other way with it. They could use a big shot here to get this offense going. Too many empty possessions. Right now, they need a basket. Brown the pass to Wilson. Passes it to Trent. Puts up a three. And it's Philadelphia with the rebound. Here's Neto. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. That's his first personal foul. At the line for your 76ers, Raul Neto. At the line for two. First free throw is good. Mark Miles, he's checked in for Jonah Bolden. The Bucks also with the sub. Lopez, he's checked in for Brooke Lopez. And good on the second, so he makes them both. Milwaukee has gotten just one of four three-pointers to go down for them here in the fourth. Here's DiVincenzo. It's rebounded by Neto. He's disappeared this quarter. He can't get anything to drop. That's not going to help him get out of the hole. Ennis taking his time here. Down low. Neto with the bucket. That pass into the paint. That is a work of art there. Dead on target. And for Milwaukee, they're shooting poorly just 35% so far. And here's Wilson. Pass to DiVincenzo. And the Bucks miss again. And he's really trying to get them back into it, but the results just have not been there. Here's Neto. Outside, Scott. Back to Neto. Five to shoot. Wilson with the block. And he recovers it. And there's the shot clock violation. Couldn't get the shot off in time. Here's Trent. The pass to Lopez. Inside, trying to get something going. Even Shenzo gets the bucket. Dante, even Here's Neto. 158 left in the fourth quarter. Pass to Ennis. Here's Neto. Passes it to Korkmaz. A three-pointer, no good. Korkmaz has gotten three of his eight shots to go, around 37%. Oh, and how about squeezing the orange as tight as he could there before the stuff? Yeah, no way he's going to lose that thing on the way up. Here's Neto. Outside, Scott. Back to Neto. Just five to shoot. Smith for three. That one, no good. 
And Milwaukee will come the other way. And just a huge victory at an important time in this series, not to mention a tremendous motivational boost, if you will, for the 76ers. As one-sided as it gets today, you know, there were some dominant moments in there about every facet of this game for that team. Yeah, I mean, Kevin, I, it's hard to think of what didn't go right for them. Uh, game planning by the coaches, execution by the players, everything was just on target. And, you know, when you look at the huge impact he had, just a monster game for Ben Simmons. There wasn't much they could do to slow him down as he was converting every good chance he Take got. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. First one falls for Kyle O'Quinn. He's checked in for Philadelphia. And so he makes both from the line. And so it's Smith with it. He'll bring it up for the Philadelphia 76ers. Pass to Neto. Solid play in the low block, and that one's good. And you can sense that these fans, these players, they are ready to celebrate. You know they are sure. I mean, come on, the finish line is in sight. All they have to do is play a smart. Here's DiVincenzo. And there it is for him. That's not who they want guarding him. I mean, the size mismatch is just too big. All he has to do is just keep attacking the rim. Four seconds separating the shot and game clocks. O'Quinn finds Neto. Back to O'Quinn. Down to five on the shot clock. Here's Smith. Off target with the free throw line, Jay. So it's the 76ers winning this one easily. This was a pivotal game in the series so far, and they were able to keep their heads great, get the job done, and take the all-important three games to two lead. Now they can breathe yeah, right. just a little bit easier, oh knowing goodness. they're just one win away from closing this thing out. Had they lost this game, the pressure on them would have been huge. Oh, just gigantic, you're right. And now we'll send it over to David Aldridge, who is standing by courtside. David. Thanks very much, Al. You guys do it as a five-man unit on the floor. How did you come together for this win? Uh, just taking good shots on offense, um, trying to, you know, getting stops on defense. Uh, we challenge every shot. Um, you know, we just played hard tonight. Great effort and a big win, Al. Congrats. Back to you, Kevin. David, thank you as always. And so this one is in the books. We hope you've enjoyed being with us for the Eastern Conference Finals. For Chris Weber, Greg Anthony, and David Alton, this is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for watching. So long and good night, everyone.